Now, the countdown to Chandrayaan has begun in earnest on Wednesday at 6.04 p.m. Just after Five Live gets over is when Chandrayaan will be landing. But I wanted to share a pair of pictures with you because these are really so incredible. This image you see here, this image you see here is the first ever picture taken by a spacecraft that has landed on the surface of the moon. This picture is from 1966 by the Russian Luna 9 lander that landed there. How ironic that the Russians were the first to conduct a successful soft landing on the surface of the moon and they've just very sadly lost the Luna 25. That's the vagaries of space exploration and missions of this kind. And the pictures you see here on my screen are 2023 by Chandrayaan itself, by the lander, so two images showing you the first images of the moon from a spacecraft that has landed there and the latest pictures of the surface of the moon by a lander that is all set to land. Uh, Akshita Nandagopal, who is our resident Chandrayaan and moon expert and an amateur uh, astronomer by herself, I, get, I take it, uh, you know, considering all the research she's been doing over the last few weeks. In fact, she's headed to Bengaluru tomorrow to bring us the beautiful news of the lander successfully uh, getting to the moon's surface. But Akshita, you know, these two images gives us such an amazing perspective on the Earth's tryst with the moon. 1966, the peak of the Cold War when the US and Russia were, you know, in that space race to get to the moon. Russia was able to land. And I can only imagine what kind of effect this photograph must have had back then in 1966. Very much as exciting as the ones we're seeing now by Chandraya. Very true, Shiv, and nice to see 1966 to now. Nothing's really changed as far as the moon's surface is concerned. You can easily compare those two pictures. You were right in pointing out, you know, the irony of Luna 9, the Soviet Union spacecraft being the first to land on any celestial object. That was the first one, Luna 9. And tragically, of course, we got the news over the weekend of Luna 25 uh, crashing when attempting that very, very tricky closing in on the orbit of the moon. But that explains to you how tricky this current mission is really by Chandrayaan-3. Remember that while, you know, many would say 1966, we managed, the Soviet Union managed to touch down on the moon, we're doing it in 2023. These are completely different parts of the moon. The Luna 9 landed in what is referred to as the Ocean of Storms. It's on the western edge of the moon. It's what many of us from here also will be able to see, Shiv. When you look at the moon and you can see, you know, some sort of uh, uh, not really a uniform white, but you see clearly some sort of pattern on it. That right there is the Ocean of Storms. And that's where Luna 9 landed. That area alone is about 2,500 kilometers, that particular patch. So you can imagine how much more space there is to uncover and unravel. Chandrayaan-3 will be la landing on the south pole of the moon. And the kind of pictures that we've already got, the latest one which was put out today, uh, Shiv, was from, in fact, the far side of the moon known to be more rugged, known to have way more craters. So each of these pictures, you know, gives us so much of information, so much of research that so far, despite it being 50 years since the first uh, spacecraft to touch down on the moon, these pictures still give you so much more to research upon. Don't forget to tune in to Akshita's special broadcast coming at 6 p.m. Uh, it's her final show in Delhi before she heads down to Bengaluru to watch India's space program making history on the surface of the moon. Akshita is going to be showing you these pictures and many more pictures and reports on her show 6 p.m. prime that comes up in just a few minutes. Akshita, thanks very much for joining me.